IDJ Tech Tools. In this video, I'm going to show you my latest mapping for the DDJ FZ and FX2 family of controllers for Tractor. And uh, this mapping has now been ported from my work on the DDJ 1000 mapping, so that there, now there is a single map. However, for Serato, for these Serato controllers, you will need to use the, uh, the BOM MIDI translator uh, to translate the mapping. So let me show you now the, the new features of the mapping. The first features is that all the, the most important functions are now on the as in a single touch. So this is the hot cues, of course. This is the pad effects. When you double tap, it rolls. This is the macro and mixer effects. So this is the, the, the flight test. This is polar wind, wormhole. So this was already the case, but the difference now is that it's very accessible with just one touch. And when you double tap, tap it, you go to the mixer effects. So this is time gator. And this is a double delay and so on. So no, it's no longer on these shortcuts. It's now accessible on the modes. The last one is the jog effects. So it starts spinning. And then on the secondary pad functions, uh, the, uh, it's the less used modes. This is the keyboard. This is the big jump. By various amounts. This is a slicer. And this, this will be the remix, remix Dex if it will be uh, enabled. So that's the pad modes. The second topic is the beat jump. The beat jump is now on these buttons because they have been freed. So right now it's four. So pressing, you move by four bits. When you press, uh, if you press shift, and these, it will change the bit, the, the, the bit jump uh, size, and then it will uh, be like this, just like in the DDJ 1000 version. Uh, the loops are the same, auto loop, change the loop size, in, out, and now I cannot show you because I'm holding the camera in my hand, but if you press shift and in, you'll be able to change with the jog wheel the, the, the location of the loop very precisely, just like in record box. What more? Uh, there is now um, um, a layout for classic and parallel. So right now we, we are in parallel. You just press panel, this guy here, and it changes automatically to classic and parallel. And when you access the other decks, it changes automatically to four decks, two decks, either side. And when you are in four decks, if you press panel, it will change classic and parallel modes. So this is only possible because I have my own layouts here. Please do not change them when you install the mapping. Uh, what more? Um, the, these, the, these buttons work as, as expected, the, the, the knobs of the, of the effects, so this guy is here. And uh, something really useful is the preview player. Let me show you how it works. Uh, let me first start, stop the deck. The preview player is here and lets you, let me put it higher. Let's you hear on the on the headphones um, the, the the current track, and then you just 
press to start and stop, change a new, a new track. So it's very convenient. However, in the DDJS Z case, but not the DDJ SX2, this guy runs in external mode. So there is no way to route the preview player, this guy here, to the, to the headphones. The solution was to route it to the deck 4, but only if deck 4 is not in use, which means not on. So let me show you. If, uh, if I press if, if I press the preview play, it starts. But if, if the deck is in use, nothing will happen. That's on purpose because probably if it's, if it's in use, you have something else on the deck 4. So now the preview play doesn't work. And if you would, only when, when the fader is down, you will use both the preview player and whatever deck 4 is, is uh, in progress. So this is only relevant for external controllers, external mixer, like the DJ SZ. For the DJ SX2, this is not a problem. And uh, that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to uh, release this uh, pretty soon. Uh, this will be a better release because this was a major jump uh, for the reasons I discussed. Uh, this is this requires bone, which is this program here. This guy costs uh, 60 euros. However, uh, from this is a third-party software. It's not my software, but I use it. You can try all these for free. Bone will work for 20 minutes without any problems. The trial version, and then it stops. So this is more than enough for you to try this this uh, uh, this mapping. Uh, in your environment and it's already coded but not uh, enabled uh, lots of cool functions uh, for example there is a turntable stop effect on the on the start and stop button this is already uh, working on my 1000 mapping but not here yet but it will later other functions are that you when you reach the the, the maximum of the tempo size it will automatically jump to a wider range fully automatically, which is really useful uh, when, when you reach the, the limit. And, and uh, all kinds of uh, features, uh, more automations uh, the, similar to these ones. So enjoy the mapping. Uh, tell me about uh, new features and uh, uh, any problems. And that's it for now.